Hello, I'm Andre from SIP and today we'll talk about MOT. First, I'll show you our products that we prepare together with the certificates and general permits to easily get your vehicle registered at the MOT. So the parts certificate and a general operating permit are necessary to drive a vehicle in public road traffic without losing the insurance coverage. Nutzen zu dürfen, ohne dass das Fahrzeug den Versicherungsschutz verliert. Es gibt da zwei Kategorien. There are two categories. Category one is the part certificate, but there's also the so-called EU type approval system. Behind the two types of documents that exist, there are different types of approval. Stehen unterschiedliche Arten der Zulassung. If I have an EU type approval for one of my components, I can just add it to my vehicle and everything should be just fine. I only have to have this type approval and the general operating certificate with me to be able to show it if necessary. So the police officer basically has to accept that this component is legal. If I only have a part certificate, I have to professionally have this part assembled by a specialist, or I'll do it myself, because I've learned it. And then I go to the MOT with my vehicle, or to another expert. For example, we have the GT or Decra in Germany. They will check if everything that is described in a part certificate actually is installed in the vehicle. Wenn er das bestätigen kann, also wenn er das einzieht. If they can confirm that, they note the changes, which is summarized here for the examiner, into the vehicle documents. Abschreiben, ähm, kann er dann in die Fahrzeugpapiere übernehmen. Ich ordne jetzt mal I will now assign the parts to the two types of documents that we have here. Ordne ich mal die Teile zu. Zum Beispiel haben wir unsere SIP Brem For example, we have our SIP brake calipers which are one of our classics because it's been in our stock for some years already. It has a KBA number. It almost has no calipers because most parts are checked in complete vehicles. But our brake caliper got checked exclusively for the Vespa PX model series. And then we got a KBA number. It's the same case with our rims, for example this one, the 8106. Basically the standard rim for the Vespa PX made of aluminum. It's tubeless, also got a KBA number. So did the shock absorbers, that are very high quality, also have a KBA number. Then there are the other parts. These are the ones with part certificate. We have had recently many parts reports prepared and I could only prepare a small selection of parts for it now. For example for this crankcase. The engine case with Prima Varant Vespa 50, for the old 50s basically. And that part certificate confirms that this part is actually as good as the original. A lot of tests have been made. The swing arm won't break. There won't be any changes in performance. So, especially for vehicle workshops, it's quite interesting. Because if I just install a different crankshaft and something bad happens, then the workshop would be responsible. Und dann passiert irgendwas Schlimmes, wie ich es gerade schon angedeutet habe, dann wäre ja eigentlich die Fachwerkstatt in der Haftung. Mit diesem Teilegutachten ist es... With this part certificate, it's no longer or respectively has at least a reinsurance. For this crankcase, there were also investigations, and these investigations confirmed that this part is okay. It's fixed enough. It's not performance enhancing. Nicht leistungssteigernd. A part certificate also exists for this cylinder. It's more or less representative for a whole group of components that we got on the road via part certificate. Like those conversion cylinders for PX80 to 125. We really tried hard. It's something special. It's based on an existing product. We have developed a nice combustion chamber and a nice cylinder head for it which you manufacture especially with the conversion kit. This vehicle really gets close to 9 HP if I'm not mistaken. This is more than an original PX125 has. We already did the measurements for you and the MOT inspector can take the values from here. In addition to this cylinder which now only applies to the PX80 to convert it to 125, we still homologated many cylinders which are very very popular. 
homologieren lassen, die sehr, sehr beliebt sind. Das ist This is a DR177. This is the classic for every 125 and 150 Vespa. Then we have a Polidni 170. This one has a little more power. It's awesome to go on road trips. And for the Vespa 200s we have our classic, the Malossi 210. Everyone knows it, we also certified it. And we didn't just do one part certificate, but a whole bunch of them. Means the cylinder itself is a certificate, cylinder and exhaust have another certificate, and cylinder with exhaust and carburetor have another certificate. Zylinder mit Auspuff und Vergaser in einem anderen Gutachten. So haben wir eine ganze Palette. So we have a whole range and we believe that every customer who is interested in a powerful touring scooter finds suitable parts. I have prepared one of these part certificate kits and now I would like to unbox it here with you in a monumental moment, right? In einem monumentalen Moment ähm, mal hier unboxen, oder? Ich finde den Cutter. I can't find the cutter though. Unberührt. An untouched package from our warehouse. It's always a bit like Christmas. Inside is a nice big racing exhaust. Also small parts. And there is the Malossi cylinder. Looks as usual. I show you now what the difference is between the parts that have been homologated by us and other parts, which we also have in stock for a cheaper price, but which are not homologated. So this Malossi cylinder kit is in principle a completely normal Malossi 210 cylinder kit with the difference that we measured internally if the channels that influence performance are as we did the performance measurement back then. Gemessen haben, ob die Kanäle, die ja die Leistung beeinflussen, so sind, wie wir damals die Leistungsmessung machen haben lassen. Und wenn wir zu dem Ergebnis kommen, ja, okay. If we come to the result, okay, the outlet is just like it was before, then this cylinder gets a signature. Based on this signature, the MOT inspector or the official expert recognizes the cylinder and then say, yes, that is one of the cylinders that were measured before. That means that the MOT inspector can be sure that this is the cylinder which is listed in the part certificate and the performance values were measured before. Und für den auch die Leistungswerte äh, gemessen wurden und angegeben sind. Dadurch tut er sich leicht und sagt, okay. This is handy for him. He can just register the cylinder. Wenn du jetzt einen Zylinder hast, der nicht gekennzeichnet ist. If you now have a cylinder which isn't marked, it has nothing to do with the certification. Das Gutachten nicht für ein ungekennzeichnet. So the certification is not possible for an unmarked cylinder. The special thing about our kids is that you also get an exhaust which has a signature back here on such a badge. Über eine Kennzeichnung verfügt, hier hinten an so einer Plakette. The only racing exhaust that you can also drive on tours, because it's nice and narrow, and because it's so well made that after 5000 kilometers or even 15000 kilometers, it doesn't tear up. So for once, I'll unpack it and only show it to you briefly. This is the legendary SIP Performance 1.0 exhaust. It has been around for quite a long time. There are much more powerful exhausts today, but unmatched to that build quality and above all that, the durability. It also has a relative gentle performance development. In my eyes, pretty much the maximum you can get to drive on a long tour, if you don't want to have a nervous breakdown. I'll just repack it quickly. I told you everything about part certificates, ABEs, EU type approval systems, registrations, noise, performance, MOT inspectors. In the next video, we will drive to the MOT test center and check out if everything works like I said. Subscribe to our channel or subscribe to the email newsletter and you will definitely stay up to date. And we will notify you guys immediately when there's something new.